All right, everyone, maybe you've tried the bear crawl and you can't quite figure it out. A good regression from there to give a shot is the uh, uh, backward bear crawl from knees. Okay, so now we don't, we still load the upper body a little bit, but the, the demand on the ab is not quite as hard. So I'm gonna set up the same way <sighs> around my back, got my outer lower abs. And instead of picking my knees up off the ground and increasing all the forces that I have to make, let me take those off before they fall. Uh, I'm just gonna keep my, I'm gonna kind of slide my knee. I still gotta pick my knee up to step, but the other one stays down. <sighs> a little less hip flexor demand, which needs to be opposed by the abs. That's why it's easier on the abs than just the torque. So similar idea. Um, this one, you're just wasting your time if you're not making sure that the upper chest area is nice and round. So <clears throat> if I'm not, if I'm letting my neck fall down like this and I'm doing this, then I'm not getting what I need to get. I gotta find those outer <sighs> lower abdominals, but then I also have to keep my neck away from the ground. And then I take a step. Take a step, take a step, okay? Hopefully that one makes sense. Uh, I really like that one for new people kind of just getting into exercising. Maybe you've tried the rock back and you can kind of figure out how to round your back, but now you need to introduce some more demand to it. So this is great to throw into your handstand prep if that's around the area that you're starting.